Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Once again, the skies have cleared out. This is the trend that we've been looking at all week long. We have a mostly clear morning, cool at that. We see more showers or at least clouds develop in the afternoon. That does lead to the chance of some showers and storms. Same deal as we had through the day today. Right now we have a mostly clear sky and it is cool out there. Temperatures have fallen back to about 56 degrees. Your winds are calm. Dew point at 54 signify there's a little bit of moisture going on out there, but really not a lot. It's pretty dry to start us off today. Again, those skies are mostly clear, but we could run into some low line clouds developing in the form of some fog, reducing visibility just a bit, although I do believe visibility will be okay for a good portion of the valley. If you drive out in rural and low lying locations, that's where you might run into a little bit of trouble there with that fog and reduced visibility. Beyond that, those skies will stay mostly clear during the first part of the day, but as we head into the afternoon, you saw that spot of green show up mainly across southern portions of the valley today. Still going to be a possibility that the clouds that do develop for our afternoon could produce a stray shower during the afternoon today, but it's only looking to be about a 20% chance. So if you do have outdoor plans, don't cancel them. Keep them for now. Just keep an eye on that radar and perhaps keep an umbrella handy. We get back into the lower 80s today. We topped out near 80 yesterday. We'll be a few degrees warmer today. Rebounding back to 78 degrees by 1, up to 82 by 4. Get a chance for that stray shower through the afternoon. Then we take rain back out of the forecast, becoming partly cloudy again by 7 p.m. A temperature near 73. Rain chances continue as we head into the end of the week. We'll pick it up at right around 7 a.m. on Friday. Again, still going to be a mostly clear start to the day. The trend continues. Pretty much been a copy and paste forecast all week long. As we head through the afternoon on Friday, here's 1 p.m. We'll start to see that chance for a few at least isolated showers, perhaps a thunder shower as well for your Thursday or for your Friday afternoon rather. And then by 5 o'clock, it looks like those rain chances dwindle. We still see that chance back to our west, but really becoming less numerous as we head through the evening on Friday. So again, once again, looking at only about a 20% shot of an isolated shower or thunder shower for the day on Friday. Now, as we head into Saturday, that's when we ramp up those rain chances just a bit. Here's Saturday at 7 a.m. We once again start off mostly clear, but once temperatures start to climb back into the lower 80s, we'll have just enough heat in the atmosphere, just that right setup to give us those scattered showers and storms for your Saturday afternoon. That's going to be during the afternoon hours because as we head into Saturday evening, here's about 8 p.m. High pressure takes control and it's going to clear that sky out. So already by Saturday evening, if you have plans, Rain's going to be out of here, going to be just fine. Sunday, we stay completely dry. So there are some improving conditions as we head closer to the weekend. But for today, Friday, and into the first part of the day on Saturday, that's when we continue to at least have about a 20 to 30% chance of some isolated showers and storms. So for today, looking for a partly sunny sky, most of us again do stay dry. We just have to make mention of the chance for a few stray thunder showers developing this afternoon. A high today near 82. Partly cloudy and not as cool through the overnight tonight. We've been in the 50s all week long. We broke a low temperature record yesterday. Today we're on track to do the same. But for tonight, we only drop back near 60. For tomorrow, we'll rebound back to 83 with isolated thunder showers possible. And for your weekend, again, keeping that chance of those scattered showers and storms around during the first part of the day on Saturday, Saturday evening. We clear those skies out. And the skies do stay clear as we head to the second half of your weekend, Sunday to Monday, mostly sunny, and it warms back up. If you've been one of those folks missing summer, take a look at this. Back into the upper 80s by midweek next week.